G'day everyone and welcome back to the Prestige Detailing Studio. This is episode four of my Detail Studio Garage Build. In this episode, I'll be painting the walls and installing the Swiss Tracks floor. So I'll be going from this to this. Now let's get stuck into it. <laughs> And as we all know, painting is as boring as anything to do, let alone to watch. So here's one I prepared earlier. And there you have it, all done with the help of my beautiful girlfriend. And hey, the uh, Swiss Rack style's just rocked up, so let's check that out. the next day. Now it's time to install the Swiss tracks. After the tiles got delivered I had to quickly bring them inside um, just in the house here so I'll start bringing them out one by one and we'll get get it all sorted. I just want to thank my beautiful girlfriend Noelle once again for helping me paint this garage. Let's get to uh, installing these tiles and uh, we'll see how it's done. All right so I've got my worksheet here. Um, this will tell me what the pattern is and wh where the tiles go and all that. So I've chosen pearl grey on the very outer edge, a couple tiles in, and then there's royal blue, a square around, and there's a island blue, and then it's back to pearl grey in the centre where the lift sort of is. And in the corner there, I've got this uh, the vinyl tracks ash pine flat flooring, just to make it easier to things to roll on. Plus, it just adds a little out different element to the floor. So I think that should be looking pretty good. Let's get to it. I've got my box cutter. Let's start. Uh, let's start opening up some boxes.
weird angles you're at, you're going to end up with a piece that just fits perfectly. And what have I found? A piece that just fits perfectly. Just going to cut it a little bit there. And then, um, yeah, that's perfect. Oh, I'm really stoked with that. Let's get into it. If you're getting value out of this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any future videos.
storage area here, I've chose the the dark oak tile just to break up the um, the area and give it a bit more something a bit more sleek. I don't know. Just uh, thought I'd do something different here. So let's uh, let's finish off this little area here, and then we can uh, move on to the the edges over here. I've already already done the edges here. I've kind of ran out of battery and just need to get it done. So I'll uh, show you, show you guys that the edge work uh, in a second. Also with the um, with the Swiss tracks tiles, um, they only they can only really go one way. So you've got to make sure that you're always putting them down one after the other in a, a in a row, sort of across, just to get this the right way. Got these little hooks and loops and these little these little uh, what do you call them, little button things here. So they just clip together. Just gonna give them the right match them up and then. Stomp them down, basically. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know why, but there's um the pattern sort of on uh, there's, there's got like a little bit of a grain sort of going across. But then every now and again, I'll pick up, uh, there's a tile that does it the opposite way, and it doesn't, it looks a bit weird, I'm not sure why it's known. Uh, leave, a, leave a comment below to let me know why that, why that happens, but probably just a manufacturing flaw, I'm not sure. So um, on the edges, you're just going to leave that like X amount of space against the wall because apparently when it gets hot, these expand and contract. So you're going to leave that little bit of space on the edges just to account for or else they can start think start bowing up, which is uh, not what you want. Cutting them, just make sure you match these little hooks up 
to the ones on the tile that you're cutting because uh, you cut the one and then you just use this as the as the as the guide for the other one. So you just got to make sure that they're in the right spot because if you cut them on the wrong way, it won't go on properly. So I've done that a couple of times. I cut them in the wrong spot. And it's yeah, just got to be mindful of that a little bit. I think. inexpensive so perfect perfect nice gap on the edge there just wipe that marker off and that looks really good
And we're back. Um, I couldn't actually get it all done in time. I had to sort of do it off camera. So this is the, uh, the finish here. So not too bad up against the wall. And over here, if you look closely, I've had to um, sort of MacGyver, you could say, the, um, the, the rear, rear um, ramps on here, the rear um, edging because uh, I had to cut this and then you couldn't really just clip it on. So I've had to use, uh, if you can see here, just some uh, cable ties. It's not the best finish, but what do you do when you, you know, you just gotta make do with what you've got. And unfortunately my garage wasn't the right size for it to fit up perfectly to clip these on. So that's, uh, that's what you get, I suppose. And now um, all I'm gonna do is just uh, give, it a, give it a bit of a clean up and uh, I think we're done. And all right, uh, there you have it, it's all cleaned up. Now, we just gotta put everything in there. I bought a whole heap of poker premium stuff that'll be going on the wall over here, right here. I'll be having my um, G-Tools sort of custom cabinetry sitting around right about here. So, always a bit of this space here, but that's fine. Still, still leaves me a good gap here to roll around, get in the car. Lighting will be going in next. So, yeah, no, that's all good. Um, I'm happy with the way it's turned out. What do you guys reckon? Leave a comment in the comment box. Let us know what you think, that'd be good. see more videos of the build hit the playlist right here and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future episodes i'll be seeing you guys on the next one